In this video, we're going to look at how we use heading styles in Microsoft Word. Now, what heading style is, it's a custom set of formatting, like fonts, bold, colors, things like that, that you can apply to a bunch of text and it means that you can change one heading style and that'll change the entire document. It's really useful if um, you want to change something quite quickly or you keep changing your mind or you're trying to get an exact look. It's also really good because as it helps you navigate through your uh, document. So I'm going to start first by showing you how you apply a style. So see on the home tab I've got these boxes here. Now these are heading styles so I can go set that to heading 1, set that to heading 2, set that to heading 3. And you see these all have different styles. Now what we can do is we can change how these styles look and there's a couple of ways we can do it. In the past, if you haven't used heading styles before, you might make a title just like title and you would change it by going bold, making it bigger and changing the colour however it wants to be. But if you wanted to do that in a big document, say you're making a, write a book or you might be making like a user guide where you have various sections, you don't want to keep going right, I'm going to make it size 22, I'm going to change the font, make it bold, make it red, loads and loads of times. So what we can do is we can change the style. So if I right click here and click modify, what I can do now is I can change the name if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it. And you can change lots of things. So I can make it purple, bold and underlined, change the size, and then I'm going to pick a different font. So let's pick this one. Okay, if I press OK, and I change this one to a heading one, you see that it just takes the same style. I can do the same for heading two and heading three. Now what you might want to do is create your own set of styles. So it might be that you are creating a script or something like that and you want to use the uh, script sort of style. So I can create a new style and I could say um, dialogue. Now I'm going to change it to Korean new as that's the font I usually use. I think it's size 10 as far as I'm aware. We need to be center aligned. Let me press OK. So what I might do is I might have um, let's say so we create the script, alright, hello, how are you? And click this and it sets it to my dialogue setting. Now off the top of my head I can't actually remember what the font style is for characters for a script, so I'll just make one up. But I might say um, characters, which will go with Korean you again, but we're going to say it's bold, center, and slightly bigger. I can say, right, um, Mr. Reese, and then I can set it like that. If I was creating some form of script, something like that, I could follow that same, same sort of pattern. I might decide that I want some really crazy style just for my custom heading. So I might say custom heading one. I'm not going to base it on anything else. I'm going to pick this font here. I'm going to make it really big. And color is going to be yellow. And I can go, right, oh, I've done made a mistake there. Put it back to dialog and I wanted this one to be it, so I click that and it applies that style. And that's how you use heading styles. Now what you may get asked for for an IGCSE, some sort of exam like that, you probably get asked to change the formatting of certain styles and then apply them to various sections. Now it didn't just have to be for titles, so they can be for actual text as well. It gives you lots of different things. I know in the past I've used uh, used them when I've been making like user guides and things. I always had um, one for my headings and my certain style for my actual text and I just highlighted everything and applied it and it just saved me a lot of time rather than going through and changing individual bits all the time. It's really useful for creating things like exams as well where you've got certain um, formatting for how the marks look, how the questions look and how images and things are um, put in. But I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.